this topic is prescribed in the syllabus of standard 9 students chemistry the chapter is chemical bonding and the topic is polar bonds we are familiar with the term electronegativity the electron pairs shared in a covalent bond are attracted by both the combining atoms the relative ability of each atom in a covalent bond to attract the bonded pair of electrons towards itself is known as electronegativity. Now, electronegativity scale. Different types of electronegativity scales are proposed to compare the electronegativity of elements. Among these, the electronegativity scale proposed by the American scientist Linus Pauling is widely accepted. This is a relative scale with values for electronegativity of elements ranging from 0 to 4. In the scale, fluorine is the most electronegative element. Now coming on to the applications of Pauling's electronegativity scale. By finding out the difference in the electronegativity values of elements in a compound, the nature of the compound can be predicted. That is, whether the compound is ionic or covalent may be predicted. Generally, if the difference in the electronegativity values of elements in a compound is 1.7 or more, the compound generally shows ionic character and if it is less than 1.7, the compound generally shows covalent character and it is clear from the diagram. Now, predicting the nature of the compounds. The nature of the compounds may be predicted from the difference in the electronegativities of the constituent atoms. If the difference is greater than 1.7, it is ionic and covalent if it is less than 1.7. And some of the examples are given in the table. Now moving on to non-polar covalent bonds. The two atoms in homodiatomic molecules have the same electronegativity values. Hence, they attract the shared pair of electrons equally. Such bonds are said to be 100% covalent. Examples hydrogen molecule, chlorine molecule, nitrogen molecule, oxygen molecule, etc. Now, partially ionic covalent bond. An example for that is HCl. What is the electronegativity of hydrogen? It is 2.20. What is the electronegativity of chlorine? It is 3.16. The atomic molecules of which of these elements has a greater tendency to attract the shared pair of electron as chlorine. The chlorine attracts the electron pair more towards it and develops a partial ionic character and so hydrogen develops a partial ionic character so HCl can be represented as a polar molecule which is as shown below. Now water polar compounds, compounds having partial electrical charges within the molecule are known as polar compounds. Example is hydrogen chloride, water, ammonia, etc. And the diagram is shown below. Now, moving on to polar water molecule. Water is a polar molecule. The basis of the peculiar features of water is its polar nature. Hence, it exists in the liquid state even though its molecular mass is low. The ability of water to dissolve many organic and inorganic compounds and thereby making it a universal solvent is also due to its polar nature. 
Now coming on to the properties of ionic and covalent compounds. First of all, the state. Ionic compounds are solid in state, while covalent compounds exist in solid, liquid, and gaseous states. Second is solubility in water. Ionic compounds are generally soluble in water, while covalent compounds are generally insoluble in water. Soluble in organic solvents like kerosene, carbon tetrachloride, benzene, etc. Third is electrical conductivity. Ionic compounds conduct ele electricity in aqueous and molten states, while covalent compounds generally not a conductor of electricity. Fourth property is melting point, boiling point. Ionic compounds are having high values of melting point and boiling point, while covalent compounds usually have low values. Now, when concluding, the ability of an atom to attract the bonded pair of electrons towards itself is known as electronegativity. Linus Pauling has developed the electronegativity scale in which fluorine is given the maximum value of 4. Compounds having partial electric charges in their bonds are called polar compounds. And the nature of the compound and their properties are related.